Yo, 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 yo. How you doing today? How are you? Well, give me one second real quick. Yeah, yeah so um, how you doing today? Um, yeah, I just want to make a real quick video. I'm trying to make this video really quick, right? Um, hopefully, I can make it as quick as possible. I'm going to try to give myself 10 minutes at the most. Talk about two things that are very big and very deep and like very powerful so i'm gonna try to talk very quick about this stuff i, I'm, I guess i'm gonna try to have this be an introduction to these things yeah so i'm not gonna so basically i'm not gonna elaborate you know a lot on them i'm just gonna just introduce them right so um you know the formula you know to success right um the formula to success and the formula is just based upon you know two things it might be like four things i feel like it's four things in total but i'm just gonna say the first two you know uh, i'm just gonna say the first two you know if it is four things then i'll say the the last two in another video hopefully but in this one just the first two right and the first one being obedience to laws and when i say laws i'm not just talking about like um you know like laws basic laws that everybody knows like you know don't steal don't murder um you know don't run a red light i'm not really talking too much about those laws i'm talking about like moral laws like mental laws you know um like morality and, and and stuff like that like for example drunkenness like there there's a law with that like you know you should not get drunk you know i'm talking basically i'm talking about spiritual and and universal laws like because the thing with getting drunk is you can end up getting drunk i say like let's say like you violate the, that law right and and you get drunk then you can end up next thing you you know you can end up uh becoming an alcoholic and then you can end up you know getting in your car one day and driving drunk and killing yourself whoever else is in the car and also some other innocent person on the road because you chose to you know to violate that law then another law could be like cigarettes right you know um the uh the law that you you know should not um smoke cigarettes because i mean i shouldn't have had to explain that one <laughs> you know what i'm saying like like you're all you're doing when you're smoking cigarettes is just killing yourself slowly you know slowly slowly but surely over time you're, you're killing yourself that's that's all you're doing that's like self-explanatory you know everybody should know that <laughs> i shouldn't have to really elaborate upon that but uh, the law for that is if you never have smoked a cigarette before, don't even try the first one. Don't even smoke and even try the first one. Just stay away from it. Don't even. And then there's also and that leads me to a law. You know, what I'm saying when it comes to drugs, if you've never taken that first hit from from a drug, you know, from weed, crack, heroin, pills, whatever. You have, if you haven't taken that first hit, gotten that first high, then your body, your body, your brain. Like it doesn't like it, it it has never experienced that. And once it experiences that dopamine rush and that first high, then you're going to develop an appetite for it and you're gonna to have to fight the appetite possibly like for the rest of your life. You know. And it can lead to you becoming a drug addict and the next thing you know, you become an, another one of the crazy homeless people, you know, that you see on the street that are just gone, you know, out of, out of their minds, you know, strung out on drugs. So it's best for you to not even try it the first time to begin with. Same thing goes with sex. You should just stay a virgin until marriage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because then you can, if you don't, there's so many bad things that, that are most likely to happen. Like you get hurt, you know what I'm saying? Heartbreak, um, end up getting divorced. If you do get a married, married in the future, um, uh, you could get like std you could get you could get aids you know what i'm saying like there's so you can get you can get uh pregnant or, or get a girl pregnant and you're not ready for the child you know what i'm saying 
And don't be one of those people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm not one of those people. I'm 26. I ain't got no kids. I don't want kids. And I'm not going to be like my dad that, you know, had me, but was a deadbeat because he was absent of my, in my life, you know, for my pretty much my whole life until now, you know, because of the music, but that's only through social media. But like, I'm 26, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to actually being a father, he was a deadbeat, you know, he was absent never in my life, you know, when I was, as I was growing up, you know what I'm saying? Um, so don't become another statistic. Stay a virgin until you get married. Obey that law. You know what I'm saying? These are just more moral, morality, and mental, you know, laws, spiritual laws. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, you have to obey these laws, you know what I'm saying, if you want to be successful. So now let me go into the second thing, right? We have six minutes. I'm doing I'm doing good on this so far. Uh uh, thank you, don't it was laws. Oh, fulfill your purpose. That's the second one. Your purpose is your success. What you were born to do, what you were created, what you were born to do is your success. Whether it makes you a million dollars or not, whether it makes you a million dollars or whether it makes you, you know, thirty thousand dollars. It doesn't matter. Because you can you could do something where you can make a millions of dollars, be a multimillionaire. But it could end up not being your purpose. And then, like, you're not happy and you're not fulfilled inside. You're not satisfied. You have, like, a, you know, this empty feeling in your heart. You have this void, you know what I'm saying, that you feel, you know what I'm saying, inside of you, in your spirit. Like, it's not about the money. Money does matter. Don't get me twisted. But not everybody was meant to be a millionaire. Not everybody is meant to be rich or wealthy. A lot of people connect that with success. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of times, you know, people who do become successful do um, get that. They do become wealthy and rich. Um, but a lot of, but I guess a lot of the times, the people that were meant for it, you know, meant for wealth and riches, yeah, pretty much, yeah. A lot of times, people who are meant for wealth and riches are the ones that choose to fulfill their purpose. Or sometimes they didn't become successful. I mean, that's just, they didn't become rich and wealthy because it's not the same. We wealth and success is not the same. So, they didn't become that from fulfilling their purpose. They may have, you know, become it from illegitimate ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, do like scamming or, you know, stealing or, um, or you know, becoming some Im immoral, you know, entertainment um, celebrity or something like that. So, yeah, man. Like for so that that's. Your purpose is your success, right? Like, if you look around you and you look at nature and you look at the animal kingdom, they are perfect examples. Birds were created to fly. Fish were created to, to swim. If a, if a bird, you know, if a bird was to try to rebel against what God created it for, it will die. <laughs> it will suffer and it will die. Same thing with a fish. If, it, if a fish tries to swim out of water and decides that I, I want to experience the land. I, I want to see what the land is like. I want to see what it is, you know, what it's like, you know, on the surface of, of earth and, and out of the water. That fish is going to die. <laughs> it's going to suffer and it's going to die. You know what I'm saying? Soon. Because it was not creative for that. You know what I'm saying? Both, both of these two things have to do with obedience. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, and if you're if you're disobedient when it comes to these things, you're disobedient against you know um, laws. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, forgive me for the dirt in my fingernails. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, you know, uh, disobedience against like um, laws, moral, you know, spiritual, and universal laws, and uh, and disobedience against like your purpose, like. You know what you're supposed to be doing you know what i'm saying um there was the last thing i was gonna say i'm trying i'm trying to wrap this up i'm trying to remember because i kind of lost track of the last thing that i was going to say uh i don't know but, but yeah like i said the animals in nature you know what i'm saying they they do what they're created to do and us as mankind you know we like to just re be rebellious and not do what we were created to do and as long as you do that it doesn't matter if you become rich rich and, and famous and wealthy 
if if you if you became that without fulfilling your purpose, you're not successful. You're you are unsuccessful. You're not successful. That's why you have people that um, you know. That's why you have uh, rich people that you know go crazy, that commit suicide. You know what I'm saying? That go crazy and commit suicide. You know, there, there's a reason for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And also the absence of God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's also that. So actually, that's the third thing, and that is you need God. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? That guy. You need him, but not in a religious way. Not, not, you can't be religious. Re religion will keep you also, will keep you away from success. You know what I'm saying? You have to be a kingdom citizen. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what that is, look up Dr. Miles Monroe on YouTube and start watching his videos. And you'll start learning about it very quick. So, those are the, so it's actually three things. Those are the three main things. Obedience to, to, to laws, you know what I'm saying? God's laws, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, then fulfilling your purpose and then you know um god himself you know what i'm saying it's the last thing you need god you know what i'm saying you, know, you need god you know what i'm saying you try to do big things and try to be successful without god like it's not gonna happen like you can become rich wealthy and and famous you know um um without God, you know what I'm saying, but you can't be successful and, you know, be fulfilled, you know what I'm saying, within your heart, you know what I'm saying, you can't be 100% fulfilled within your heart, within your spirit, and satisfied, you know what I'm saying, and and at 100%, at, at full 100% peace, you know, mentally, internally, and spiritually, you cannot be all of those things without God, and money, no amount, no amount of money, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you have more money than Elon Musk. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a billionaire. It does not matter. No amount of money can buy all of those things that I just said. So, yeah. And that's it for this video. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, that's it for this video. I just, I just wanted to, you know, make this video because I was, I was inspired by, um, I, well, I was, I was inspired by, uh, a video I just watched, you know what I'm saying, with a guy named Myron Golden talking about this stuff. And also just, I've been watching a lot of Miles and Rose teachings and videos. So yeah, I was just inspired to make this video, but that's it, you know what I'm saying? That's it. <clears throat>